my thoughts on spirit untamed. What I'm interested and excited about. One of the biggest reasons I'm excited about this one is because the original spirit movie, Spirit Stallion of the Simmer One, is one of my favourite movies and I quite like its Netflix spin-off show Spirit Wide and Free. And even though I've got a few things to complain about it, it which I'll be getting to later, I'm quite intrigued about it. And this is a DreamWorks movie after all and I enjoy quite a few DreamWorks movies like How to Train Your Dragon, another one of my favourites and Abominable. So unless I'm wrong I've never seen there being a bad DreamWorks movie. So like I mentioned earlier a few things to complain about I see this one doing alright especially for people who like this sort of thing or horses. The new trailer also makes it look interesting. And if you're a hardcore spirit fan, you'll notice this scene looks a tiny bit similar to the scene in the original movie. So like in the original scene, he's on a train, but this time he's with Lucky. But unlike the original, this time he breaks out of the train. In the original, he doesn't even try to fight and break out of the train since he feels like he lost everything. What I find okay. One of the things I find okay which I don't love or hate is that the movie's plot is a bit like the first episode of Spirit Wide and Free. Before this trailer came out I knew about this movie but I didn't really think about what the plot would be. Like I mentioned earlier though I don't hate it but still I would think the movie's plot would be a bit more creative. Doesn't mean I'm not excited about seeing it though of course. Also another similar thing to the first episode is where they try to wise spirit and he throws them off. That has been done in the original movie too though but I feel like this is more of a copy to the first episode than the movie. Especially with what it looks like. Also you might not have noticed this or cared but unlike the each show but like the original movie the horses got bits on their bridle and in their mouths. I guess they did that because the original movie did that, also real life horses have bits after all. Also I feel like some of this movie looks a bit similar to the new Black Beauty and the Bonneball. A Bonneball is a DreamWorks movie too though, so you would see why. What I don't like, love or need getting used to. The main thing I don't love or need getting used to is the animation style of this movie because it's quite different from Spirit Wide and Free. And I feel like out of all of them I especially need to get used to how Boomerang looks now because I quite liked how he looked in the TV show. It does, does take them getting used to when they change the animation of stuff you liked before. Although some of the animation looks alright, like on these horses and unlike this in the show Spirit Wide and Free, they had the cheap approach and used the same design for the wild horses over and over a bit. So if we see more horses that have different designs like this in the film, it will make a nice change. And if they become a main part of the movie, you will be able to tell who's who with a different design that makes them unique. Anyway, apart from the things I don't like, I am quite looking forward for this movie because I like the original, I like Spirit Ride and Free and of course I like horses. I'm also one not to be too critical on films so I'm willing to give things a chance. And the trailer made it look a bit like an excitable watch and it is DreamWorks after all so it's going to be decent. Hope you all enjoyed watching and I hope you look forward to the film too. Also, what are your opinions on the film? Leave your opinions and thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and have a good day.